youth activist of the People's National Congress Reform, Attorney James Anthony Bond, lost his bid to become one of the two vice chairpersons of the party. But in spite of his loss, he said that GYSM has lots of work to do in recruiting more youths from across the country. As for the reason why he came out third in the race for vice chairperson of the party, Bond said, uh, We did not have the required number of delegates, the required amount of delegates to make that paradigm shift, delegates coming from the GYSM. Um, and I think that is incumbent on us, the young people. I think we would have done ourselves, um, they've done ourselves in a bit, but we have seen that the general membership of the PNCR, they accept and they're ready to make that shift in terms of having young people represented at the highest levels of the party. Bond was beaten by incumbent chairperson Valda Lawrence and Dr. George Norton. Both serve as government ministers in the APNU AFC coalition government. The PNC makes up the biggest part of the coalition. Bond has no position in the government, but said youths will play a big part in the future of the party. He made the following pronouncement. I want Guyana to see the young people at the forefront of this, this revolution. To, to, of, of, of what a working party should look like, of what a people's party should look like. You know, persons could judge us after this Congress. And I said this, I said this to, to my colleagues in the GYSM. I'm not a member, but I still um, play a significant part in the operations of the GYSM. I said, if we come back to the next Congress with these numbers, our 17 delegates, our whichever, we would have failed the, people, the, the young people of this country. We would have failed ourselves as young politicians if we remain dormant and inactive, if we have no foods to show um, for our labels, and um, we are prepared to work. According to Mr. Bond, many youths have been nominated to sit on the Central Executive Committee, like Christopher Jones, Leslie Nestor, McNaika Ramsey, Annette Ferguson, among others. He said it's not all about being on the Central Executive Committee. It's much more than that. To say this clear, it's not about Congress. Um, Congress is just one aspect. I think persons tend to see Congress as the, the battlefield of trying to get position and get posts. No, we're saying we want a party that will be strong in 2020. Mm. And this is all in Vision 2020. And we want more young people involved in the process of 2020. We don't want a situation whereby in 2020 we have disgruntled youths, youths that are not caught, by the, the, not caught in this net of, of Politically, political awareness. Mm -hmm. We want young people who are politically aware, who are politically astute. And um, that is what we are about. Not just growing the party for delegates purposes and voting purposes. And I want to make this very clear. It is not just about gathering votes at Congress. It's not just about challenging for leadership. This is about representation. It's about advocacy. It's about involvement. It's about having a voice, a space, a political space for young people in this country. And that is why we aim to grow the GYSM. Andrew Weeks, Safe TV 2, Headline News.